When we do the full exhaust on this bike, when you see what we're doing, it spits massive flames and it has all kinds of pops and burgles. It's gonna sound amazing. All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi with the beautiful Christina K. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a very exciting video. We're heading to pick up a brand new motorcycle. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, folks, we have arrived at Warhorse of Camp Hill, and we're gonna head in and see what the new bike is. Was it the bike on the thumbnail? I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. Thank you, teens. I see it right in front of me. It's the top selling bike of all time, the Honda Super Cub. Just kidding, but I think they have sold like 100 million of these or something ridiculous. Yeah, where is my name? How oh, come my name's not up there? Take it up. You can't even see the board for some reason. There it is. Anyway, let's just get straight to it. No BS, guys. Here it is, folks. My name has been on it for, for weeks. There it is. Camp easy. Um, the people who came to the... Um, Ducati event actually knew, I told everyone here when I did my little speech. So this is it guys, the 2024 BMW M1000R is our next giveaway motorcycle. And actually, for the first time ever, if you sign up right now, you'll be entered to win this bike and our Ducati Panigale V2 Bayless. So between now and March, Friday, March 22nd, um, if you sign up, you'll be entered to win both bikes for the first time ever. And one of the reasons we were able to do that is because we switched to monthly. So now when you go over to the page, you'll see um, 15, 30, and 60 per month. That's what you'll pay per month now. It used to be per episode. Um, now it's per month. So it should be a lot simpler, a lot easier to understand. And because now I, you don't have to support like one individual bike to get entered, just whatever bikes we have for that month, you'll be entered to win those bikes. So it should cost people less money and you should get more bikes and it should be easier. Yeah, and as we get more support, we'll literally just add more bikes to the build series. That's that's the goal. That was gonna probably take some time for us to build up support. This was not a cheap bike. It was $27,000 plus taxes and fees. So you're looking at 30 grand out the door. So it is one of the most expensive bikes we've ever done. We've actually never even done a BMW uh, single R before. So it's the first naked BMW that we've ever done and it is the best one that they offer. So I'm super excited. It does have the engine from the S1000 double R. So 205 horsepower on this bad boy. We already partnered up with Manny from Moto Million. We got $20,000 worth of parts ordered for this bad boy and on the way. Some have already arrived and people are saying, what can you do to this bike? What do you mean? There's, a, there's plenty we can do to this bike. I'll just go over some off the top of my head. Full titanium exhaust system. I already have it ordered. It's not a Kropovich. It's an exhaust we've never used before. Um, for the first time ever, they actually offer clear clutch covers for these. It's gonna be incredible. Full carbon belly panel for this they make now. It's gonna look so good. Uh, tons of carbon fiber accessories, carbon frame covers, carbon swing arm covers, um, tail tidy, mirror delete, or yeah, mirror delete, well, diff better mirrors, um, getting rid of these uh, floppy turn signals here. There's tons and tons of stuff, radiator guards, oil cooler guards, uh, Bren flash, you can do stage one, stage two, you can do velocity stacks, high flow filter. We could even do a carbon tank if we wanted to. I'm gonna do a comfort seat with a custom seat cover designed by my, yours truly. Um, there's a lot of stuff we can do to this bike, so. Oh my gosh, you see this? How cool this is? What? This is where you put the key in. Oh, that is pretty cool. Look how cool that is. Yeah, and it's also keyless. So this is, no way. yeah, just like my Diavel. Oh, you just have to have the key nice. fob in your pocket and it starts up. So I'm excited. Why don't we go grab the keys and the booklets and all that kind of stuff and um, we can turn it on and look at it and everything like that. All right, so they gave me the key fob. I actually love how small this is. I wish it was a little bit thinner maybe. Hold but on, it's just gotta focus, there oh. you go. So I think it could be maybe a little thinner but it's probably that thickness because of the key. Um, there's a button here that you can press, two of them. I don't know what they do, I will find out. Look at that, 2024 BMW. So this is the competition package. And I believe the only way you get the black one is if you get the competition package. Otherwise it's white with all of these uh, graphics on it. So you know you have the good one if it's black. And it's funny because when this came out, the M1000 RR and the single R both have this black paint scheme and it looks really similar. Everyone was messaging me saying that they copied off our carbon BMW mm -hmm. uh, M1000, yours. Two builds ago. Did? Yeah, because we did full carbon with the vinyl on it and it literally was like almost identical to this. So it's pretty funny. I, I believe this is clear coated over. Yeah, it is. So that's nice that they did that. 
So it looks really good. So let's see, you just have to have the key fob on you and then you can press the on button. And it brings up the We've dash. I've never seen this. I'm gonna do a whole first ride and review, deep dive into all this stuff, but today will just kind of be like first initial impressions. So look at that, the temperature. So it is the same dashboard from the from the S1000 double R. So yeah, it's insanely nice. Look at that. So it is gonna have a and soft. It's got a gas gauge. Yeah, and it actually will tell you total miles to empty. So it has two miles, two miles on, on it. Uh, we can't return it. Yeah. But it'll tell you your trips, it'll tell you your miles per gallon, it'll tell you how long you've gone since you had a coffee break. And you can remove all of this coffee stuff break. on there. There's a top speed, I think, or average speed. 13 miles. Yeah. Tire pressure it will have eventually. So there. 61 miles. 61 miles to empty. Wow, that's and that'll update really cool. once you drive and it gets like a better idea of your of your actual like mileage and how you use it. But this has everything. Traction control, uh, wheelie control, slide control, front and rear ABS, and then there's a million different rider modes, which I don't even remember how to do any of that stuff. I think you actually, yeah, look at this. So there's my vehicle. Look at that dial. Mm-hmm. So look, it'll tell you all kinds of stuff in there. Your voltage for your battery. Again, it'll tell you your PSI for your tires. Um, I think that's oil temperature right there, or it might be coolant, I can't remember. And then there's more stuff even if I go, let's see. There's your onboard computer, even more information. There's two of them, trip computer. There's all your tire pressure, stuff like that. Oh, and it even tells you what they're supposed to be at. Look at that, 30, 36 in the front, 42 in the rear. So you don't have to look for the stupid stickers on the side of it. Service due, so I need to put up 621 miles on this bike before that is so cool I can do the first break in. That is so cool information for you. It's, it's very nice. Very user friendly too. Yeah, it says I have a service due. That might just be like an up, a software update maybe that they push through. Let me see what else. So if I go up here, that's just vehicle. Then you have your sport. This is where you control your dashes and how, what your dash looks like. So let's it's see, there's one, there's two. No, race is the mode. That's yeah, that's the mode you're in, yeah. Yeah. And you're but, choosing the so display. So those are the three different dashes. There's that one. There's the stock one. There's this one. This one, so there's four different dash that modes. That lets you know the laps if yeah. you're on the track. This one's really cool. I like that. It even show you your lean angle and stuff, which is really yeah, nice. That's cool. And this can even connect. It look, it even shows your braking power. I don't know if it's going to show it unless I unless I select it. Um, this connect. This can connect with your phone and show you like turn by turn navigation. It's right there. So it'll literally show turn by turn up here on the screen. You don't have to have your phone Media, mounted to the No, bike. even your telephone, you can make calls, wow. receive calls. Yeah, it's, it's a smart, it's a smart, uh, it's, it's, a smart bike. It's probably the best tech on a bike that's available right now. That's not like an adventure bike, you know? Um, and then there's a bunch of different things in here. The only thing I don't like about this bike is even though we're in the race setting, in order to actually change all your traction controls and wheelie control and all that stuff, you have to be in the race pro settings and then you can go in there and change them. So there's 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 wet, road, and race, there's normal riding modes, and then there's race pro settings one, two, and three. And those are the only ones you can actually change what the settings are. I believe the other ones are just in default settings that BMW chose, which is, I mean, it's not a huge deal, but um, yeah, it's pretty impressive. So I think, um, I think we should, get this puppy outside started up. Yeah, I, I do like the main dash. I think that, that has like everything that you want to see. It's a little more simplified, you know? But did you show the front uh, light on here and stuff? People were complaining about the headlight online <clears throat> and I understand it doesn't really look, they did have an, an S1000 RR. Yeah, they do over there where it has the dual headlight, obviously on I here. I like that. It has one, but I think it looks really good and like, it has heated heated grips. <gasps> really? Yeah. From, oh, nice. from factories. And let's see where the high beams are. If I can find them. What's this? What's the horn? There you go. How's that look? Oh, right. Is it bright? Oh, three lights. Top, middle, and bottom. It's dude, I don't know. It's pretty nice. It's pretty impressive, man. I think that this is probably like BMW's naked bike is probably like the best overall like daily rider if you were gonna daily drive a bike. Does this compete with your Street Fighter that yeah, you have at so home? Yeah, so this is basically BMW Street Fighter, their naked bike. I don't know, it's pretty badass, dude. I'm gonna like have it. to turn it on and see what it sounds like. Yeah, well, we gotta get it outside for that. Congratulations, Jarrett and Christina.
Everybody, this is our newest family member. They just got a BMW M1000R. This is really exciting because this is gonna be the giveaway bike on Patreon really, really soon. We wanted to take a minute, Jarrett and Christina, to tell you thank you so much for becoming a part of the Warhorse family. Thank you for trusting us. We're really excited that you're here. What did you love about this bike? Everything. Everything about it? The carbon fiber. The carbon fiber? Uh, it's more carbon fiber than I've ever seen on anything. Well, listen, we want you to be a customer for life. We want you to experience the Warhorse Advantage. And we also want to know that today your shopping experience was a perfect 10. Was it a perfect 10? It was a 15. It was a 15. Awesome. Well, we're going to count down from 10, and then we're going to launch you out of here with your brand new ride, okay? All right, ready? Ready, folks? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Matches. Yeah, there you go. I wanted, I, was, I was scared that it'd be too loud over here, but I think it's gonna be fine. That terrified the right, shit cool. out of me. Congrats. Congrats. Thank you. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Look at all this confetti. Sorry to make you clean it all up. <laughs> so while I'm pushing this outside, I did want to mention. When we, when we went through the YouTube comments and we asked you guys, you know, YouTube, Instagram, and Patreon, this was the bike that had the overwhelming support. Uh, obviously it was between this and the Diablo, but a lot of people said they didn't want to see another Ducati, which I totally understand. So again, a bike, we've only done two BMWs in the history of our build series, and we've never done the naked version of a BMW. So this is a first, and again, it's also the first that we're giving two bikes away at the same time. You can get entered for both. And um, we're really excited to be switching things up this year and getting back to making really high quality content for you guys. So I hope you're as excited as we are. <laughs> Confetti is flying off. While uh, Mama can't, Mama can't be easy. While Mama Christina walks around cleaning up all of the uh, confetti, um, I forgot to mention the M competition package comes with carbon fiber wheels, which is insane. They're super light. They look amazing. Um, it even comes with, I believe these are Brembo brakes, but they're painted blue, which is awesome. And you can actually see the little Brembo logo on the back one. So that's definitely a Brembo brake. And then it has that chain that's supposedly uh, you don't need a service, um, but we're going to be swapping ours out anyway. So yeah, and I love that the shock is blue to match. Look at that, guys. Hey, Ducati, take note. You can make your shocks match. And the front forks are black. Can you imagine that? Probably because they're not Olin's. But hey, that's okay. They're electronic, so we'll let it slide. So we're going to start this bad boy up for the first time, see how it sounds, and then I'm going to hop on it and give you guys my first impressions, and then I'll do a whole first ride and review, like deep dive, in the future. So I have the key fob in my pocket. Press this button. Turns on the electronics. Look at the beautiful startup animation on the dash. Once you, once you get used to this dash, I know, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard to go back. Even the Ducati dash is really small. This is, I think, 7.1, and I think the Ducati's is like 4.5 or something. It's noticeably different. So, um, start it up. Let's hear it. First start on this bad boy on the channel. Alright folks, first ride on the brand new 2024 BMW M1000R. My first time riding a naked BMW. I've never ridden one before and I'm very very excited for this. Two miles on the odometer. This is a beauty, huh teens? Does it make you miss your M1000 single double R? Once you were done with it. Yeah, yeah it did look incredible. So we're going to give you guys my raw first impressions and then I'm going to do a whole first ride in review. Um, in the future as well where I go over all the features and everything like that, but 
I'm excited to just hop on this and give you guys some some quick feedback. I can tell you right off the bat, mm, it's I wouldn't say it's maybe lower seat height wise. I can flat foot this pretty easily than the uh, than the S1000 RR. I'm not sure though. Someone can probably correct me. The seat feels thin, but it doesn't feel quite as bad as the the S1000 RR seat. Although this is the M seat, so it is kind of like a brick. But um, we got mirrors there. They do look pretty good. There you guys are on the GoPro. Yeah, these are going to get replaced. I'm just going to do bar end mirrors that I never actually put on it. wonder if she's following me. There's the new uh, GLE. <laughs> this, man, the BMWs. Damn, those brakes are legit. Tire pressure not at set point. Cool. Don't know what that means. Can I get rid of that? How do I get that off the screen? I feel like those... Um, those things that tell you shit okay there we go need to be a lot smaller oh look it has hill hold mode so if you're on a hill and i believe if you just double tap the brake yeah look it holds it for you that's pretty cool until you give it gas so it does have a cable clutch still which i'm not sure how i feel about that versus a, a regular one so <laughs> there's confetti flying out man these rear sets feel good and I do think that this has probably the be best quick shifter the BMWs I think it has the best quick shifter out of any motorcycle the, the throttle does feel a little disconnected on them and maybe it's something I'll get used to see the downshifts on this brand new bike brand new tires I gotta be careful just cut off a Bronco real quick I think it has self-canceling turn signals too Man, it's super comfortable. It reminds me a lot of the Street Fighter from the riding position. Um, but unlike the Street Fighter, at low RPMs, because it's an inline four, it is so smooth and so easy to ride. It's crazy. So I definitely need to be really careful. Let's see if the turn signals cancel for me. Dude, these rear sets feel really good. But yeah, I gotta scrub these tires in, at least for 20 miles or so, 20, 30 miles. I gotta be real careful, because they can be super slick. I put it in dynamic mode. I did find the mode button. It's right here. You just press it and it goes through. Um, I said it's it's wet road, dynamic, and race. Those are the four preset models that they have. And that thing's yelling at me because the tire pressure is probably not in the right parameters from sitting on the showroom floor. But I'll have Dotto just fix those for me in the future. But yeah, initial impressions. My main thing that I've never liked about naked bikes is highway long stints on the highway because you obviously don't have any fairings up there to uh, prevent wind from just beating you up the Street Fighter can be a bit bad um, this riding position feels really good I'm trying to remember if it's more comfortable or less comfortable than the Street Fighter I think we'll have to do a comparison for this versus my uh, Lamborghini Street Fighter but um, yeah I mean initial first impressions the bike feels great it's hard to get in the neutral because it's brand new. Can't even find it. There it is. It's got, it's in hill, hill hold mode. And sometimes new bikes sound like, smell like they're on fire because stuff is burning in for the first time. And uh, that's totally normal. Although I do like to check. Man, it is cool like to see these winglets down here. And they actually make like a little thing for this bike that comes up and kind of like goes around the dash and gives you like a little, a little shadow from the dash but it does have a matte finish so i don't think it'll be too bad in the direct sunlight obviously right now we have overcast so i can't really tell but um yeah dude initial impressions i like it it feels good seat could be a little more comfortable but the riding position is really good we got heated grips look at that right there throw those on because why not yeah i would like these to be carbon and this to be carbon because that's something that you see this looks really nice in carbon right here i love the m the 1000 the r that looks really good with the bmw logo i mean i don't know man this is a very high quality product i would be hard pressed to choose this or a street fighter i'll have to wait and see how this feels with the exhaust and everything on it i do think maybe the street fighter still looks a little bit better styling wise but in this paint scheme with all the carbon i don't know man this thing looks pretty freaking good and i'm not usually a, a big fan of multi-colors especially with stickers but with the way they've done it 
and the fact that they put those uh, clear coat over the stickers it does feel a little bit more premium and it looks a lot more high quality and I probably just left Tina Wieners behind see if she's gonna run it up oh, she did <sighs> nice leaning over man if damn with those carbon wheels on it stock and I think this thing is pretty light straight from the factory we'll weigh it to find out what the stock weight is but when I was looking on BMW's website I want to say it said like 438 pounds or something like that with gas that's super light I bet it'll come in a little bit more than that but yeah I want to see how the wind feels on the highway I'm not a big highway rider I don't do a lot of highway rides I'm more of a backcountry canyon type of guy back roads so it's not a deal breaker for me because I don't like riding on the highway. I think it's boring. Unless you're racing people, I think it's super boring. These camp, these um, mirrors are actually very good, which is surprising. There's a lot of mirrors on bikes are shit. Like the Street Fighter mirrors are not good. Now, again, most people just remove them anyway. But yeah, it's super windy out today too. Man, this engine sounds good in stock form. Definitely a lot of wind though. You get to that uh, hard red line really quick. I mean, uh, that's something that um, that annoys me when you spend $30,000 on a new bike. You can't just go out and rip it. But at the same time, it's probably, for the life of the engine, a good thing. But I'll do a whole video on braking and all that kind of stuff in the future. But yeah, initial first impressions, the bike feels really good. And honestly, I thought the wind would be a lot worse than it is. Um, it's not terrible. So for short highway rides, especially if you're not going super fast, it's really not too bad. Now, as I increase my speed, yeah, I'm feeling a lot more wind. But man, I'll tell you what, just looking down at this as a product, it looks premium, man, and it feels really good. I'm really excited for this build. I hope you guys are too. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna save the rest of all my thoughts and feelings for the first ride. So let's just get home and we'll take a look at this bad boy next to the V2 Bayless and then uh, and then that'll be it. All right, made it home safe and sound. Got my heated grips on, feels phenomenal. Even has a temperature right there, 60 degrees outside. Got my high beams on. Man, I don't know, this is a really nice bike. Like, really nice. I'm, I'm very impressed. GLE looking nice and dirty in front of us. So yeah, I'm gonna pop, pull out the, uh, the Panigale, we'll put these puppies side by side. I'm actually excited to do a comparison, this versus my Street Fighter. So we'll have to get like me and Dotto out or my dad or someone. What a nice bike, I popped it in the road. I forgot, so it's that easy to change the mode. You just press this button, boop, boop, boop. Rain, whatever you want. Dynamic, and then you just let it go and it goes in it. I mean, dude, they make BMW makes a hell of a package. Kickstand is easy to find. Look at this thing. And then you just press this, boop. <laughs> I don't know, man. Definitely too quiet right now. And all of this down here looks like, looks like trash. That's gotta go. But you don't have to do much to make this thing look amazing. I mean, it already does. Look at this thing. All right, look at this, folks. Our two giveaway bikes. Our $50,000 custom Ducati Panigale V2 Bayless and our $30,000 with 20K worth of parts. So soon to be $50,000. So $100,000 worth of giveaway bikes right here. And if you sign up right now, between now and March 22nd, Friday, March 22nd, you'll be entered to win both of these bikes for the first time ever. I'm super excited, guys. I hope that my page makes a lot more sense over there on Patreon. We're trying to, we're trying to charge you guys less and give you more and make it easier to understand. So that's, that's been the goal of my build series. Um, to get dream bikes into the hands of people who maybe couldn't afford them otherwise and um, I'm happy to announce this is what bike number 16 or 17 do we even know I have to look at my we'd have to look at the chart look at the, yeah while you continue to talk, we've given away over a million dollars worth of motorcycles at this point so again huge shout out to Warhorse for working with us um, we love that dealership if you guys need bikes hit them up tell them I sent you they have a ton of bikes in the showroom massive shout out to Manny from Moto Million for sponsoring these builds we could not do them um, to this caliber without them this is number 16 number 16 so I was right bike number 16 guys 
I'm shocked by how good this bike is. Yeah, and that's it's really good on it. Right? It looks really good when it's moving. Yeah, when I got home she was like, dude, that bike looks really good. So yeah. You love the naked you love naked bikes in general. I do. I'm getting older. I'm in, I'm in my 40s now, and with the type of riding that I do, it makes a lot more sense than sport bikes. Except something like this, like I said, because it's smaller, it's 150 horsepower, so you can have more fun on the street with these. Um, but man, look how good these bikes look together. So you guys got to be happy. It's not a Ducati. We're not doing full carbon. You know, we're we've never we're done. we've never done a naked BMW. So yeah, we're going to be continuing. To, I'm actually excited for the next build. I'm already thinking about bikes. Um, a Diavel maybe, an MV Agusta. We got all kinds of options yeah, now. We can literally do anything we want. Yeah, so I'm excited. I'm gonna start reaching out to and motorcycle manufacturers. And again, it's gonna be on you guys. So the more support we get, the more bikes we're gonna buy and make content with and give away. So it's, it's all up to you guys. You guys have been the ones that have given us everything that we've been able to accomplish on social media. So without the support, from you guys, we would never be able to do any of this stuff, which is why we film so much of our lives for you, why we try to make the best content we possibly can, keep it informative, keep it entertaining, and give away bikes. So that's it. I hope you guys are excited for the new build series. Right now you can get entered to win two beautiful motorcycles, and uh, I'm certainly excited. Winter's about to end, and uh, the content is gonna get really, really good. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big old juicy thumbs up. Go get subscribed on Patreon, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.